How dare you to learn how to love? How dare you to learn how to love? Baby, I dare you to learn how to love. Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're well. As you can see from the title of this video, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial. Now, I am no makeup artist, guys. This is going to be a soft glam makeup tutorial or just get ready with me, but I'll be using drugstore makeup. I've pretty much watched like everybody's video, so I've gathered like all the gems and I'm going to attempt to do it on my face right now. I will be using drugstore makeup, so um, I'll leave all the names down below of all the stuff that I've used with all the links So yeah, that's basically it. So if you're interested in seeing what this is going to look like then carry on watching I've just Starting with foundations. I have loads. I actually realized that I have loads of drugstore foundations So let me know if you want to see me do like a drugstore Foundation video. I'm trying to decide between these four and I actually have more I'm gonna actually mix these two together this makeup Revolution matte base is supposed to be a full coverage um, blurring foundation it's a little bit dark I got it for summer and then I've got this flawless matte foundation by B which is a super drug brand so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix these two together however before I do all of that I'm gonna do my brows usually I'm that HD brow kind of girl however I have seen the new trend of brows where you look like you're hairy but then you're not wearing any pencil or whatever um, so what I've been seeing people do is actually use um, lash adhesive on the eyebrows and brush it up to make it look bushy so I'm going to attempt that, Charlie. So I'm just going to use a spoolie. And okay, I'm just going to brush it up. What I'm going to do is just try and fill in the brow without putting too much. So I'm just going to need that the bottom to be lined. And I'm going to try not to be harsh. By the way, my eyebrow pencil is from Poundland. When everybody's done this, they usually, in the videos that I've seen, they don't put the concealer here, but I'm gonna just have to do, um, do that, but just with a foundation color, just to clean it up. But what I'm gonna do is just take my brush, but you kinda just wanna buff out the color that you just added on. Now for the bottom, like I said, I'm gonna use a light concealer, and this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color no idea i just know that it's a bit lighter in color what i like to do is just leave it on not blend it yet just to kind of get it to like sit and get heavy and sticky and then i'll buff it out Creator, is I'm actually gonna just dab the concealer here because I'm gonna bring that down to my crease so right now I'm just putting the foundation the B one um, I'll put all the shade that I'm using or that I am down below but I think this is C9 so I'm just gonna put that above the brow just to clean it up So now I'm just going to get one of my brushes and I'm just going to buff it out. Now I'm going to prime my face. This is the Lacura, which is literally Aldi. This is supposed to be the Smashbox Photo Ready, I think it's called. I would like to add a lighter concealer under the eye, so I'm gonna actually do that. This is my L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer. It's in the color caramel. I need a little bit of color here. So I'm just gonna use that. 
No practice can prepare you. I declare you. I've got these W7 palettes, which literally cost like 3 dollars What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take like a fluffy brush. I'm going to be taking this color here, which is Bellini. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's literally like an orange. This um, eyeshadow is good, but it just has lots of fallout. So I'm going to do it before my makeup. But this is literally going to go all over here. This is what I was supposed to use as my blusher, but it's this sleek brush in Sahara. Do you guys remember this? I'm just going to take a tad bit of this. If you don't have that palette that I have, and you have this brush, perfect. It's just a tad bit darker. This color, which is Bloody Mary, in the same palette again, but I'm going to focus this on the outer corner. What I'm going to do now is add some reds in there. I'm going to take an angle brush and I'm going to take this, it's called Maraschino Cherry. And I'm just going to, it's literally like an angle brush. And I'm just going to draw it in here. I need to blend this. Do you guys see that? Do you see it? I hope this is picking up because I'm working hard. All we're doing is packing on colour. Um, this is another palette from the W3 one. I'm going to try and have the name down below. This is called Pretty Please. The one that I was using before is On The Rocks. I'm going to take the last colour here, which is called The Pits. And yeah, I just kind of need a smoky... I need more of a smoke. I'm just gonna take just a tad bit of concealer and I'm gonna try and just like draw out a cut crease. I'm gonna take this really, it's called cheeky, but it's more, it's literally like a muted nude. I'm gonna use it to just set that and also set my brow bone because it's really stressing me out. And just gonna blend. It's a really good brush. I believe this is a Sedona lace. Do you guys remember? Oh my god. If I can find a Sedona lace one, if they sell individual brushes, I'll put it down below. But guys, I think I'm happy with this. What do you think? <laughs> now I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm just going to show you what these look like. So this is the F14, just to show you my colour and what this is picking up like. This colour, I know that it oxidises and then there's this color so i'm gonna mix these two together no practice can prepare you i declare you courageous falling in love was the first outrageous when we were broken it saved us guess that pain created this brave us now i'm gonna put my concealer on and this is the la girl again what i like to do is just blend this in and then just for brightness i'm gonna add this um l'oreal one What I'll just do is line my contour. What I'm gonna do is apply my setting powder. Now my setting powder is this one called Maximore. Not sure what this brand is, but I found it from Poundland, so it's drugstore. And then I've got the Banana Deep in the Makeup Revolution. So this is basically just a white powder, but I'm just gonna like, did I not open up? I'll just kind of mix it like this, just kind of give me a nice tone. What I usually do after I've just set my um, setting powder, I usually take my foundation. This is Max Studio Fix. Honestly, I can't do drugstore with foundation. This is an NC50. Trading motions, pretend I'm a trader. 
now that's done what i like to do is contour i've been using this cover girl for about 20 years now i'm not even joking but anyone who's maybe darker than me um I don't mind this someone some people may have issues with this but I use this MUA eyeshadow and if you know these cost a pound this is in the color chestnut it's literally like the deepest dark brown almost black but I make it work so I usually just like to mix that I've got broken pieces of my MUA dark brown color I just mix that together and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks, honey. For my nose, I just kind of like brush, push it down like this. I don't really like a harsh nose, hence why I use this. Um, because the thinner the brush you use, the more like defined it is. Like, it's not that deep. Now... I need blusher. This is my favorite blusher brush. I'll always rebuy this. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. Oh my god. And then I'm going to use the sleek Sahara. Let's see how it goes. I haven't used this in the longest time. Um, okay. Oh girl. Now I am going to highlight my face. This is the MUA Light Luster Highlight Kit. It's in the color Golden Delights. I mean it's alright. It's just a highlighter. Cause I, cause I, cause I dare you. Cause I, cause I. And then I like to just add it here on lip. Now I'm going to spray my face, set it. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro um, Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I'm gonna just line my eyes, not too much. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara to the top before you apply lashes. I like to apply my mascara before. I'm just going to grab this because I'm going to try and line my under eye just to widen my eye. Oh my god, I don't know how I'm going to do this. That's not the look I was going for. So now... Baby, I tell you to learn how to love. By the way, I get all my mascaras from Aldi. Something new I'm gonna try and do is overline my lips. I've never done this before because, I mean, I've got big lips anyways. But I've seen everyone's doing it, even Beyonce girl. Did you see that? This pencil is MUA and it's in the color Obsession. The lipstick that I'll be using is this from Primark. It's in the color Luster. What I'm going to be doing is adding, you guys know these cheap ass lip glosses that you get from the beauty supply store? Yeah, those pound ones. Yeah, that's what I'm using. It's so shiny and so glossy. So I'm going to add that on. Although the face is matte, we still like our lips gloss. Pop in. Oh, sugar. How can I forget lashes, girl? So for lashes, what I'm gonna, I know lashes are like too much now these days. So I've gone back to the natural human lashes that we used to wear. So these are the wispy styles. If you guys remember wispies, I'm gonna like double these up. Oh, 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 guys. I love how this has turned out. I did really well. Let me know what you think of my hair as well. I've got a tutorial on this. I'll just stand up so you can see, but this is literally what it looks like. Yes. So yes, guys, that's basically it. This is supposed to be soft glam makeup. I really think I did the soft glam. I can't believe it. I feel like I'm a makeup artist. Like I'm not gonna lie. I love my eyebrows. Um, I love the lips, I just don't like how I overlined it. What do you think? I think it looks good. If you think I did a good job, thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this look, makeup, everything. Like, honestly, if you're new to my channel, you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? <laughs> Clearly, I always come with these looks, always looking like this, not. But yeah, um, thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah.